book right here. Hi everybody, um, here's my take on the recent announcement by the Pentagon concerning the UFO disclosures. Videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. Oh my gosh! The Pentagon declassifying three videos of what they're calling unexplained aerial phenomena. It's rotating. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remains characterized as unidentified. Sun UK says close encounters UFOs are real and move in ways that aren't possible in this physical realm, says a former US defense boss. Why is it always assumed that the occupants of this craft could be aliens from outer space? There are many other theories. Pentagon X-Files chief says UFOs do exist and aliens may have visited Earth from outer space. Luis Elizondo, former head of a secret 16 million US dollar government program into extraterrestrial life, claims the existence of UFOs has now been proven beyond reasonable doubt. If ET did in fact exist, the question is, are they from outer space or are they somewhere closer to home? Is it possible that the occupants of UFOs are not from a star system at all, but are intelligent, interdimensional, unseen entities living among us. There is a spiritual component. The UFO phenomena is controlled by a non-human sort of consciousness. On Steven Spielberg's movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, said that human beings are under the control of a strange force that bends them in absurd ways, forcing them to play a role in a bizarre game of deception. Then it starts coming up, crosses my nose, and it's gone. Major General John M. Samford discusses the Army's investigation of flying discs as far back as July of 1952. Over the years, thousands have been reported. <laughs> and so, just because you don't know what it is you're looking at, doesn't mean it's intelligent aliens visiting from another planet. We've all been led that what we are witnessing are actually aliens from outer space. The media would have you to believe that aliens exist and that Earth will be hit in independence Day style attacks. This is what we've been fed for over 50 years now. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. How quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Governor Carter, Will you tell the truth to the American people about UFOs? And Jimmy Carter says, yes, I will. Jimmy Carter asks the director of Central Intelligence, George H.W. Bush. Mr. Director, can you tell me what the CIA knows about UFOs? And George says, Mr. President-elect, you have no need to know. The UFO secret is a higher level of top secret than you. God. Why the hell wasn't I told about this place? Two words, Mr. President. Plausible deniability. When you connect the dots between apparently unconnected people and, and situations and organizations, that's when the tapestry appears. Carter makes a U-turn, retracting his promise to declassify UFO documents. He cites a serious threat to national security. The Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force. NASA would not be what it is today without the help of a former Nazi. I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun and the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. Then there would be terrorists, and there would be third world countries, then there would be asteroids, and the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat, and they're all lies. 
Well, Hitler once said the great masses of the people will be more easily susceptible to falling a victim to a bigger lie than a small one. Because Hitler was already building flying saucers. A thousand Nazi scientists surrendered to the Americans in 1945 and brought their knowledge with them. There have been very many stories circulating that UFOs are linked to Nazis and one saucer was called how Nebu type. Did Werner von Braun, along with the other Nazi scientists, introduce this technology into the American military? Nazi Germany claimed the territory of New Swabia in Antarctica and sent an expedition there in 1938. After the war, President Peron of Argentina actively encouraged ex-Nazis, particularly those who had military expertise, to come and settle in Argentina. Nazis practiced witchcraft, summoning of spirits, entities, demons, and what they considered to be alien races. A blockbuster movie, Captain America, a Nazi officer enters a small Norwegian town. It's very similar to the Wevelsberg, which is Himmler's order castle. It's past as dark. Modern history, equally as dark, and we have not begun to get to the bottom of what really went on there. Nazis were being controlled by a hidden power. For example, black forces, invisible hierarchies, or as the Bible would, would describe them as demonic forces. For we are not wrestling with people made of flesh and blood, but against persons without bodies, the evil rulers of the unseen world whose mighty satanic beings and great evil princes of darkness who rule this world and against huge numbers of wicked spirits in heavenly places. If you don't understand this, then you will be greatly deceived during the reign of Antichrist. A powerful delusion is coming for those who do not love the truth of what the Bible says. And I saw three loathsome spirits like frogs coming from the mouths of the dragon, the beast and the false prophet. For well, they are the spirits of demons that perform signs, and they go forth to the rulers and the leaders all over the world to gather them together for war on the great day of God the Almighty. If indeed ET entities are interdimensional, but have the power to manifest in a physical form, then mankind is in serious trouble. It will not be like that depicted in Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters, but rather a hideous nightmare. What you're about to see may disturb you. Channeling entities 
was the new ideology for the Nazis. The Nazis believed that they were contacting an Aryan race. Today, these are called the tall, white, Nordic aliens are actively involved in contacting these alien beings in the belief they will bring salvation to the planet. You get promoters of alien contact, like Dr. Stephen Greer, who have been deceived into believing that ET will bring nothing but good for mankind. I was read into or briefed that had the ability to disclose the ET presence. The New Age movement believe they are waiting for their ascended master, the Messiah, Lord Ashtar. Madame Helena Blavatsky was actually the founder of the New Age movement. What many people do not realise is she was the founder of Theosophical Society, which is a Luciferian religion. Most influential in her writings is that of the Secret Doctrine, which declares that Lucifer is the real God of the world and not Jesus Christ. Alice Bailey took the precepts of the Theosophical Society and applied it to her new theory, which we can see playing out in the world today. Take God and prayer out of the education system. Destroy the traditional Christian family structure. If sex is free, make abortion legal and base art, make it run mad. Use media to endorse these changes. The age of Aquarius, Lucifer as the personification of enlightenment, spirit guides, pantheism, spiritual rebirth through studying the mysteries, the all-seeing eye, being your own redeemer and savior through enlightenment. The New Age plan is to establish a New Age Messiah who will lead a one world religion and a global government. As part of the plan, the movement intends to wage a total spiritual war against Christian believers. Their ultimate goal is to eliminate every vestige of Christianity. The Jews are waiting for their Messiah to appear. The Muslims are waiting for the Dajjal. And the New Agers are waiting for their ascended master, the Christ, to appear. The Lucifer device and the Vatican's secret plan for the arrival of an alien savior. Would the New Age worldwide movement and the Nazi alien hoax invasion agenda merge to create this new world order the Bible calls the Great Tribulation or the Kingdom of the Beast? I now want to show how the Theosophical Luciferian Society has influenced the whole world. The Lucis Trust publishes books on esoteric philosophy, Luciferianism. The name was changed from Lucifer Trust to Lucis Trust, member of the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations under a slick program called World Goodwill. Lucis Trust is sponsored by, among others, Robert McNamara, former Minister of Defence in the USA, member of the Rockefeller Foundation. Sponsors include Greenpeace International, Amnesty International, The question is, how will the true Messiah be known? Jesus said that all false Christs or Messiahs will appear before he returns. His appearance will be preceded by great earthly cataclysmic events. A recent declassified secret document from the CIA says that German nationalist and neo-Nazi activities continued in Argentina.
At that time, both the neo-Nazi movement in Argentina and the radical nationalist organizations in Germany lack unity and dominant leadership. They are generally guided, however, by a single basic aim, which is to destroy or invalidate democratic capitalism and establish planned economy on a global scale through the agency of strong totalitarian governments. Celebrities play a, a very large part in promoting this Luciferian agenda. Movies, they all openly display the hand signals, the gestures, they call it the Illuminati, but we, we know it's New Age and Luciferianism. And it's not even a secret anymore. Openly confess it. Kanye West, of course, has openly declared his rejection of this philosophy. The Vatican, which is run by Luciferian secret societies, because it's all centered around bringing the Antichrist to the earth. The day of the Lord is mentioned in Luke 21 and Matthew 24 as being the time sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. The New Age is a combination of Satanism, mysticism, Aboriginal animism, atheism, communism, socialism, Luciferian occultism, apostate Christianity, Islam, Taoism, Buddhism and Hinduism. Gary Carr's The New World Religion says it's a masterpiece in the field of exposing the human emissaries of Satan who are planning to establish a worldwide religion and a one world government. Catholicism and the Vatican will go under the reign of the Antichrist. The time has come for the world to move in a new direction. And our work must begin now. And the president outlined his vision of the new world order. George Herbert Walker Bush said the war in Iraq is a rare opportunity to move towards a historic period of cooperation. Out of these troubled times, a new world order can emerge. Totalitarianism is a word difficult to say, but it means a system where a government takes total centralised state control over every aspect of public and private life. Is this happening around you now, and is there any freedom left? With the digital economy, no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark or the name of the beast. This is what has been predicted. The taking of the mark will be an act of worship towards the statue or the image of this antichrist. If you have never considered before, where you will go when you die. Now might be the time. No religion on this planet can guarantee you eternal life, except one. God Almighty had a plan from before time that he was going to come down onto this earth as a human being. And Jesus said, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent.